Uh, just a quick video update, I guess. Um, I have to have surgery on Monday. Well, I guess I don't have to, but I'm kind of choosing to, I guess you could say. Um, after losing 95 pounds, I had a bunch of extra skin. I also had four kids all with C-sections, and I started out over 200 pounds with every single pregnancy. So I had really bad stretch marks, really bad stretched out skin, and that wonderful little hanging flap of skin that you get with C-sections that just wouldn't go away. Um, and so in December, I had some reconstructive surgery and had all that skin removed and had some other things that were affected by gravity put back up where they're supposed to go. Um, and so I went in for my post-op at six weeks and I was happy with it. I didn't have any problems with it. But my doctor, who is a perfectionist and his most awesome nurse that I love to death, um, looked at my stomach that I had had a tummy tuck on and said, uh, what are we going to do about that? And um, he was referring to a line that I, like a crease line, I guess you could say, that I kind of have down my stomach, which I don't think it's that big of a deal. If you look at some of my pictures on Facebook, I posted a bikini picture of those, my first ever bikini worn ever the other day when I was in Myrtle Beach with my parents. And um, I, uh, I, the line really isn't that bad, but um, it was bothering him. And so he is going to go in there and cut off a little bit more skin. He said I had a ton more extra skin than he thought, um, and it's really just going to take two procedures in order to get this done. Now he didn't charge me anything for it, so it's not like he's just trying to make money off of me and he's just saying that. Um, he's just perfectionist and he looks at his patients as his resume because they really are, they're walking resumes. So I get to go in on Monday, get to go be put back to sleep and do that whole thing, which last time was my first time ever being put to sleep. My four C-sections, I was awake for every single one, so I wasn't, you know, I don't know what to expect with surgery, but last time I got to put to sleep for the first time, this is another time I get to put to sleep. Um, I'm only supposed to be out for an hour though, um, and apparently what he's going to do um, is just cut off two little sections of skin kind of around my hips and pull the skin down sideways, cut off a little bit more. Hopefully it'll be more flat this time and there won't be that little butt crack, a belly button, which is what I call it. Um, but I'm excited and nervous, um, but I just want to let anybody know if you're worried about having extra skin after you lose weight. Um, I don't know if my mind would have been as bad if I hadn't had four C-sections and four babies, even at that. Um, but yeah, mine was pretty bad. Yeah, I did have to have it taken care of. Um, lots of times you can get insurance to pay for it. I don't have health insurance, so I had to pay for it out of pocket. Um, but lots of times if you do lose a lot of weight, they call it post-bariatric surgery, um, you can get doctors often to say that there is an infection risk or that you have yeast infections in your skin folds or something, and they will um, pay for tummy tucks um, most often. So um, if that's something that you're scared of that you're worried about, stop being scared or worried about it. I can walk you through how I did my whole thing. It didn't hurt. My tummy tuck didn't hurt. Um, my reconstructive breast surgery didn't hurt. Um, and I had a full lift with augmentation. I was fine. Um, they put me on some pain medication and I was I was good. I was sending out drug texts. It was absolutely hilarious. Um, so... Yeah, don't be scared of that. Don't be worried about that. And don't sabotage your weight loss if you're worried about loose skin because there's always a fix for it. I'd rather be thin with a little bit of extra skin that I can tuck into clothes or wear some kind of uh, garment over than be super heavy with rolls everywhere where every single time I go to button my jeans, I just want to sit down and cry. That's how you speak. So, not like that anymore. I will update you. I'll do a video before I go in on Monday for my surgery. It's at 8 a.m. on Monday, April 8th, and I'm excited, and I'll post some pictures. Um, I'll show you my stomach really quick just in case you're curious. It's really not that bad, but you can kind of see the line right here. That's the line that he's going to get rid of, so he's going to cut right here and right here and pull sideways, I guess, which is going to give me that flat belly button look, which is fine. <laughs> So um, I will do a video on Monday before surgery. I'll try to do another one probably on Tuesday or Wednesday, let you know how I'm doing. But I should be fine. Like I said, the first tummy tuck and everything was totally no big deal. So a little bit of skin getting cut off, no muscle reconstruction this time or anything like that, so I should be good. But everybody wish me luck. Um, by the way, if you are needing help losing weight, need somebody that's done been there, done that, um, my name's Christina Ray. I'm a Take Shape for Life health coach. I love to help you. Just contact me with the contact information that's posted below this video.